Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions here on the Balance channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? Um, we actually showed you a video or we showed you on a video how you can plot contours in AutoCAD 3D. So today we are going to show you how to calculate volume on SOFA. We are likely going to use the same set of data we used on the last video. And then we would also at a point get the contour. So maybe by the time you see the contour that has been depicted um, by using SOFA and also the contour we got using AutoCAD, you would see that they are similar or they are almost the same. Because depending on the contour intervals and um, some other um, parameters you need to set so that you can now see that okay, they are being they are actually the same. So without spending much time, let's go to the business of the so before we continue, please, um, if you are just coming to the channel for the first time, encourage us by subscribing and then turn on your notification. Also, on the description section, there will be a video, there will be a link to a video on how to use SOFA to plot them, to plot contours. However, today's video will be emphatically how to get what, how to get volume from the um, contours or maybe the grid files you created from, um, from SOFA. So now let's go. The first thing is that you come to read, go to data, and then you try to assess the data you want to use. So well, let's say we call it them um, contour data, then we open it. So we have um, the data column. First thing, you can also view the data you've actually imported or something. So you can see that B is eastern, C is northern, and D is height. So you can effect that here. B is eastern uh -huh. instead of point ID, C is northern. And then we have um, D as what? D as I. So maybe if by the time you opened it, maybe if it was on A or maybe whatever, if it was not well arranged, you can actually arrange it the way it should be. So that's the first thing. And then let's see, okay, output file. Let's say, let's get the output file here. Yeah? Let's call it um, control data volume. Good. So the output file is on volume on software, right? Could be saved. And do we need reports? No, we don't. Let's just uncheck that. So we say okay. Now the grid file, or let's say the grid file yeah, has been created. Not um, GRD. Good. The next thing now is um, we come to grid again and we go to volume. But before that, let's just have the contour on our um, on our screen here. Yeah? So we say contour map. Then we use this volume. We just create this. This grid file we just created, and then we do what we have our contour here. So you can see that they are now like it's not even different. Okay, so let's see. Now you come to level, and then let's say let's increase this interval to 1.5. Okay, apply and okay. So you can see there are so many similarities, but as I said, that's not what we want to check today. So let's just do some other few um, annotations on it. Okay. Let's see the color. Let's see the color. Let's see the color. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Let's see this become this. Okay. You pattern. You pattern. Let's do the pattern. Let's do the pattern. Let's do the pattern. Let's do the pattern. Okay. Let's do the pattern. Let's do the pattern. And we apply but i think it's not coming up because um we've not um, set it up for good so we say what come to general fill color and then we say apply so we see that um, it has been given different colors now again we are going to show you how to get the volume 
but we just want to show you a few things on how to add um, aesthetics to any contour you actually how would i say you got from um, you are actually designing so let's still come to rainbow i just love that um, rainbow reverse okay Good. I believe this is a more aesthetically pleasing. Now, after doing this, maybe you can still do some other things, maybe getting your scale or whatever. All right, so we want to show you how to do it, how to get volume. So you come to what? You come to grid, and then you come to what? You come to volume. So you select the grid file you've actually created. You say open. Now, there's a little, let's see, there is like, um, is it um, an information we have to give you here? You know, volume needs height, which is between two surfaces. However, on this particular video, we are just using one surface. So maybe if you want to determine the volume between two surfaces, maybe um, you are having an engineering project and then you have um, your ground level, the field level, maybe you've poured maybe some uh, earth materials on it, that you feel some earth material. So you want to determine the volume between the surfaces. Then you can actually have the data for each of the surfaces and then you put it here in this um, grid and um, volume and um, section maybe the upper surface you choose the grid file the lower surface you choose the grid file and then the the software will now determine the volume between those two surfaces so maybe if you have like five surfaces or six surfaces or three surfaces as the case may be or maybe even if it's two surfaces you can just impute the um, the, the grid files here and then the software will determine the volume between the surfaces so if you need um, further information on this, you can actually contact us. If you have the data you want to do that, with, you can actually contact us and then we can help you to work to fix it. So we are using one surface on this particular video, so we don't need to come to the lower surface. So we say what? We say, okay, now the volume has actually been what? The volume has actually been, let's say the software report, maybe grid volume completion, the volume has actually been what? Completed. So this is the volume of that surface we are working on so that um i call it um, an addendum or like an important information we give you about the height needed in volume completion is actually very important however if you don't have the height and you just have um, just one surface when i mean height you know between two surfaces definitely there'll be height either maybe upwards or downward so if you don't actually have the height and you just have one surface then you can just get your volume using the method we showed you you come in you come to what you come to um, grid you add your data maybe if you come to map again you plot your contour map you come to what grid again you go to volume and then you select the grid you've actually created and maybe if you want to do a little more maybe design or what i call it something that will be more pleasing to the eye you can do what we did earlier and then you get this product and you also what you also get your you also get what your volume that was actually created so yeah thanks for coming to class it's actually a very short video that we made today. Yeah, a little bit short. And then we hope that you found solution to that particular solving problem on how to use so far to do it, to generate a volume report. So we'll see you again on the next video. Until then, keep being a good dramatic engineer, GIS expert, or anything you just want to call yourself. Then make sure you stay safe. Have a nice time. Bye.